Hey GC, I'm Madison Sullivan here with Abby Forsyth. Attention first period classes. The Grace County Mayfield Food Pantry is having their annual can drop this week for Battle of the Birds. Bring items such as ramen noodles, oatmeal, and canned goods that have a long shelf life. The class that brings in the most cans by Friday will be awarded with donuts and juice. Arts and Education Week is this week. Congress, Congress designated this week to promote and showcase the immense role arts education has in producing engaged, successful, and college and career ready students. Check out this clip from the jazz band's performance this morning. be more morning performances in the Commons the rest of this week. Forensics team, event prep and script search will be today, Wednesday and Thursday for all returning and new members. Times each day will be 315 to 5 o'clock in D42 and you may choose two days to stay. If you miss sign-ups and you love performing, acting, drama, or speaking, you are invited to come check out what the GC Forensics team is all about. Balfour representatives will be at school this Friday during lunch to take orders for letter jackets. You may pick up a letter jacket information packet at the front desk. Please bring a deposit of $100 or full payment upon ordering. Seniors. Counselors have met with current senior English classes to discuss transcripts, graduation checklists, and college information. If you are absent during their visits or you are enrolled in a fourth block spring English 4 class, you will need to visit the guidance office during break to get your transcript and information. This week begins the celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. The Spanish Club will be holding a school-wide contest now until October 3rd. The winners will win a $20 gift certificate to a local restaurant featuring Mexican cuisine. The Spanish Club meeting has been rescheduled for this Thursday in order to nominate a homecoming candidate. Any DECA member who sold Little Caesars pizza kits needs to turn those in to Miss McKee by tomorrow. The DECA meeting is this Thursday during SSR. The FBLA meeting is this Friday 19th in the pack. Anyone interested in joining FBLA should attend the meeting. Please be prepared to pay your FBLA dues. If you haven't already, to join is $15 to join and get a short sleeve t-shirt is $21. To join and get a long sleeve t-shirt is $23. Interact will meet on Thursday, September 18th during SSR in the library. During the break, Ashton Saxon has her sports. Plus, State, State Rep Richard Heath shares a personal story about farm safety. GC. Last night, our Lady Eagles volleyball team hosted Paducah Tillman. GCTV's own Tori Wiggins had 16 kills en route to our Lady Eagles beating the Blue Tornado three sets to nothing. Tonight, the Lady Eagles will travel to face regional rival Ballard Memorial. First serve is at 7 o'clock. Good luck, ladies. Our boys soccer team will host Trigg County tonight at 7.30. Come on out and support your Golden Eagles soccer team. Our Lady Eagles soccer team traveled to face Callaway County last night. It was a close game, but they lost to Callaway 3-2 in penalty kicks. Our golf team will travel to play McCracken today. Good luck, guys. That's all for today's sports action. For GCTV, I'm Ashton Sack. Peace out, GC. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, I wanted to help bring awareness to the uh, safety uh, surrounding egg. 
I, I grew up on a farm around farm machinery and I understand how easy it is to get hurt even you know when you're trying to be careful. I haven't been injured personally but I watched my dad lose a finger in a grain auger and actually I was a senior in high school and we were in fall harvest and I was up on the um, grain wagon w watching him you know offload the grain onto a truck mm -hmm. and um, he, he was taking his hand and moving the grain towards the auger and he got too close and cut a finger off in, in that grain auger so I, I learned by watching him what not to do. We, we never put our hand in there again. I, I do. Um, anytime you can speak from personal experience, then um, it, it's, it, I think, resonates more. I could tell by your face when you cringed when talking about <laughs> my dad getting his finger cut off. You know, since I witnessed it personally, uh, I can, I, can uh, I think, add a... a I guess a level of, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say, but um, increase awareness since I had personal experience versus just talking about, you know, keeping your hands away from grain augers. You know, when in doubt, err on the side of safety, err on the side of caution. Evan Crawford Memorial Soccer Game is Thursday, September 25th at 6.30 p.m. The last days to order short shirts is today and tomorrow. Turn the shirt order form and payment to the front office. Any student who wants to be in French club who is not in a French class this year need to see Miss Balmore this, this week to get your name added to the club roster. Please come by Pack 2 during break and sign up. Homecoming nominations are due to Jennifer Hunter by the end of the day on by the end of today. All nominees must be seniors. Paducah Tillman High School will once again host the West Kentucky College Expo on September 16th from 530 to 730 in the Paducah Tillman Gym. There will be an FEA meeting this Friday in B16 during SSR. All members should plan on attending. The registration deadline for the October 25th ACT is this Friday, September 19th. Don't forget to bring drug testing forms due this Friday. Attention students planning to attend the homecoming dance. You need to pick up a homecoming dance permission form. These forms are due back before you will be allowed to purchase a ticket. Tickets will go on sale next Tuesday, September 23rd during all lunches in the Commons and run through Friday, September 26th. GC tattoos for sale in the Commons during lunch. Just two for a dollar. Get yours today and show your spirit all at all the games. Beta Club dues are due to Miss Robinson in BO8 today. It's $15 for new members, $5 for returning members, and $10 for the t-shirt. Don't wait until the last minute. Get a head start in your community service hours at the Graves County Library on September 24th and October 3rd. See Miss Horn and Miss Colley in the Youth Service Center for more information. Help your community and help your country. If you are a sports marketing student or a member of DECA or FBLA, you are invited to go to the Titans vs. Texans NFL game on October 26th. See Ms. McKee or Ms. Gaddis for more details. GC Trust will celebrate its grand opening today through, fri through Friday, September 19th. All students that make any transaction at the bank during the grand opening week will be entered into a drawing for some great prizes. Go by GC Trust this week to see what banking services they offer. Meet the staff and enjoy some refreshments. One more thing. If you are dressing up for Spirit Week, please go to the gym each day during break so that we can show your spirit on GCTV. Tomorrow will be Wheezy Wednesday, Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Class Color Day. That's all for today. For GCTV, I'm Abby Forsyth. And I'm Madison Sullivan. Stay groovy, GC.